Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to interact over WebEx as a participant. So you can see we have two people in the meeting. I have my dog here set up as the host, and that's what we're seeing on the screen. Uh, and then I am a participant listed up here. So if I'm a participant and I want to participate in the conversation, uh, if I mouse over my own name, you can see this icon comes up. And if you see it hover, it says raise hand. If I click that, then that icon stays next to me. The host can also see that and they get a little alert so they know that my hand is raised. Um, when I'm done talking, assuming I get called on and can speak, I click on that again and the icon goes away. So you need to actively manage your hand raising. Um, if you want to unmute yourself for some reason, if you're in a managed meeting, don't do that if you're not supposed to, but if you need to mute or unmute, you can do that here by clicking this button or you can do it down here. This is the same button that will mute or unmute you. And this one does the same with video. So I have my video turned off right now. Uh, that, by the way, gives you better bandwidth. So if you feel like your network connection is a little slow or the audio is a bit jagged, if you turn your video off, uh, that sometimes will make the connection better. So that's the hand raising function that's next to your own name there. If I want to send a private message to the host, I can go over the host's name and we see this chat icon appear here. And you see if we mouse over, it says start private chat with this participant. So if you need to tell the host something, you can just click on that. It pops up this chat window down at the bottom and I can say, okay, so that's the chat that we can have one-on-one -on -one. that way. If you have your conversation and you want that to go away, you can just click the X over here. You also can get to chat with this icon down here at the bottom. So here again, it brings up that direct chat to the host. If we have a bigger conversation with a bunch of people in the chat, we can go to everyone. If you type in something in that box, that shows up in the chat window of anyone who's in the conference. So it's a good way to have a back channel, especially if you like missed something that someone said, uh, but you do want to avoid having, you know, deep, intense conversations on the back channel if you're also trying to participate in the conversation uh, over the audio channel. And again, we can just make that disappear. So if you ever accidentally close out the list of participants and you want to see it, um, I have found myself like this sometimes, down at the bottom, this icon will bring up the list of participants again. And uh, we've pretty much looked at all the other ones. Here, this icon is to share content. So right now I'm just a participant, uh, but if I'm presenting and I want to share, say, my slides or something, we could click that and it brings up all of the windows that I have open and allows me to pick which one I want to share from. So if I have a PowerPoint, I could pick that here. Uh, if I have like a Google Doc, I can just pick my browser that has the Google Doc in it. And as long as you're presenting, your ability to share content works fine. If you're not presenting, that content you share will appear as your video icon instead of your face if you were to have your camera turned on. So those are the basics.